So in the world of Philip Schofield, more information is being revealed not only about Matthew, but about other people he's been in contact with. Surprise, surprise. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this video. Subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. I'm keeping this conversation going, trying to do one video a day on anything that is being updated on this matter. I do have friends who read threads and blogs on people covering the situation to try and gather as much as we can and then put it into a quick two to three minute video. So it has been revealed via other YouTubers as well. And you know, um, raising awareness for old interviews that Matthew McGreevy, who was, I believe, groomed by Philip, actually had ADHD. Now, if you do have something like this, you know, becoming neurodivergent as an individual, having ADHD, which you can have when you were, um, you know, growing up and you may not be aware of it, makes you even more of a vulnerable individual to use and manipulate, especially when you are a young teenage boy, which is probably what Philip was doing and had even more easier access to and might even have known they had ADHD since Matthew was even saying in interviews, he probably thought that this was a better target. And the reason why I use words like target and he knew and you know better way to manipulate is because this is not only what groomers do, but there were and have been multiple conversations of Philip being in contact with multiple teens. Matthew just had the best criteria to manipulate because there were conversations with Philip responding to videos in Snapchats with young teenage boys. I don't know if this boy's a minor, I don't know if he's 15, 16 or 17, 18, it doesn't matter, he's still young regardless of 15 to 18 age range. Uh, okay, so basically I messaged Philip Schofield and he replied and he sent me the video and it is literally the most heartwarming thing I've ever seen. Hi Ethan, uh, it's Philip and here you go. Definitely, I think you probably qualify for being my biggest fan. So uh, here's your video and have a great Sunday. But he looks incredibly young and yet, you know, Philip so happens to respond to his message. That is how grooming begins. It's a kind, adopting, I'm here for you friendly, but in my mind, I want to do something else because I'm responding to your message because I'm attracted to you or I'm fostering an environment for you that benefits me as the, you know, in terms of Philip Schofield being the groomer. So, you know, it's very dangerous, these steps. These videos and tweets have resurfaced of a new individual, young boy, who was in contact with Philip at that time. And I've made at least six videos, guys, of Philip being seen speaking to more than one boy multiple videos of minors speaking out at the time, expressing uncomfort, him sending winks, messages, texts, videos, and the majority of them happen to be young teenage boys. We know, and we cannot ignore, there is a pattern here. And I'm sure that there are many other groomers who are public in the public eye that we may not know about, that we may know about as time comes along, and we need to weed these out of the garden because they are ruining our young generation. Let me know your thoughts. I want to come to this guy to subscribe to the channel. Click that button for daily and consistent content. I would really appreciate it. Just a quick three minute video to get two quick topics out to keep the momentum of these conversations going. I'm in a rush, I've got a meeting to go to, but I thought let me just get this video out for you guys quickly just to cover what I have been seeing and have been sent via my friends. Subscribe to the channel guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content and I'll catch you guys soon for another quick update.